got me into league was just my brother and my friend at the time um i used to play cod a lot um uh, back in like high, middle middle school to high school and uh, my friends just uh they found league and then they, they just kept talking about it like on the bus ride and then always when we were together outside just going to play like basketball and stuff so eventually it piqued my interest and then i just tried it out once and then i got hooked right away yeah. I, I, w I started in Optic Academy in uh, Texas and then um, I was just trying to improve there in Texas uh, through Academy and then I guess I was doing well uh, as a carry player in Academy and then um, I was giving a tryout pretty much in uh, LCS once um, our swing foot performance wasn't doing that well. So I look, we are looking for like any kind of substitute and we saw in the stats we remain that like the, the, the top laner in Academy that has the best stats was actually the optic ones were like, mm, let's try him, you know. So we fly him to to uh, LA because back then the academy was in Dallas, and and the guy plays really really well, communicates well, watch a lot of game, has a good sense of macro, still a lot of things to learn. Obviously, he's a, he's, he was still a rookie, but I was like, why not, you know? And that's that's how we started, and because Niship is really like, he's a really nice guy and really easy to to get along with, we we ended up like you know, liking each other, so it was easier for me to feedback him. Well, going from Academy to LCS is a big change because the pressure in LCS is like, probably, a lot, it's a lot more than Academy because you're not playing in front of a stage and LCS is where everyone's trying to win and you're playing against the best. Uh, I think in the beginning of the split, before the split actually started, we were doing pretty well in our scrims because the meta was set and then I think we played really well in the meta, but then after it changed and uh, funnel started to come and uh, Major started to be introduced into the bot lane. I think it it didn't favor us, but after time went on, we got better at it, and um, I think we adapted. And now uh, our practice is going well for the most part, and yeah, things are starting to look up now. I told him. I told him. Yeah. Ezra, I'm looking here. Ezra, I'm looking here. I have an ult for him. No, yeah, no, 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 no flash. No flash. Yeah, no flash. I, I got. I got. I got. I got. Nice guys. Dude, these nice. guys oh, lose the shit. same waiver us every game. Fucking, it's fucking hilarious. Let's go, let's go. They play this is, this is... No, no, we should play aggro. Aggro? Uh, I don't know that. I, I get infinite prior. I get infinite prior. No, we don't. We're here, we're here, we're here. I get infinite prior. Thank, no Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Okay. We don't know this player. Wait for minions, wait for minions. There's a throw down, throw down, throw down. Throw down. And smoke the screen here. It's a Gucci job. Okay. Let's throw out, throw out. Oriana, one HP. Take the finish, take the finish, guys. Take the finish, guys. You're on the frag, go for a frag, go for a frag, go for a frag. Let's go, baby! Let's go. Holy fuck, that game was so much harder than it should have been. But. Uh, maybe I can run too. Can we maybe help him? No. I kill him, I kill him, I kill him. Shut up. Nice. No vision. Okay. Pressure, 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 pressure. He wins, he wins, he wins. I went, I went, I went. Everyone pressure mid, everyone pressure mid. Nice. nice. Go, go, go. Oh, mid, 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 mid siege, mid siege now, guys. Yes. Get no flash, right? Watch the gen. Get no flash. Yeah, hey, can we rush the mid? I'm gonna rush mid. Watch the gen. I'm, I'm gonna rush mid. You guys forward, forward okay, there. Okay. I'm gonna hit mid and nip, okay? Okay, okay, okay. okay you okay. gonna try to stall them. Yeah, make yeah. it a 50-50. If you yeah. stall, I end for Man, sure. I just got poked them. I need, I need I vision. Run, I need guys. vision. I don't have vision. I was hit. Take stall, take stall. Take stall, take stall. Go for the 50-50. I end, I end. Go for the 50-50. Take stall, take stall. Slow chase, slow chase. Stop the mid. Go, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop them. Grinch, go, Grinch, go, Grinch, go. Go, 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 go. I'm on next one. Give me 10 seconds. Five. I go, I go, I go, I go. GP1 HP, 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 GP1 I was walking down mid, just a group for the Baron, and then um, they left mid wave like a couple minions alive, right? So, and then I was already there in mid, so I'm like, okay, I can just take this minion wave and uh, hit mid and hit. So my <clears throat> my thought process was, they'll just force Baron. I have TP at worst, and I can come back and join them. And if they don't uh, make a good decisive play on the Baron, 
Um, it didn't fully register that I could end right away um, until I saw them on Baron and then where they were panicking they couldn't do it in time. So then after that, like uh, they couldn't do Baron. I, I knew the game was over there. Like I just have full faith in my team that they'll stop the recalls. You know, it was rush of euphoria. Like I actually couldn't believe we won. Well, I could believe it. And like right before uh, that uh, mid play happened, like Pee was just saying in chat, like uh, just we're gonna outplay them in this fight and everyone just have full confidence that we're gonna win this game because we stalled for like 50 minutes. So I feel like we were on even ground there. And then, uh, but after I destroyed the Nexus, um, I, I just, it, the game was so long, you know, it's like pretty mentally taxing and I just couldn't believe we won. At the beginning of the season, it was harder for me to, to actually get in you know, this connection that you have with a player where you, f you feed back, but he knows pretty much where you want to go with him and he knows like how you picture him and so on. So we had kind of a slug working to, together. That's why I worked a lot as well with Alrim, who, who I think is really good as well. And just we, we made so many tries depending on the meta. And I felt at some point having someone who can help counter pick was necessary in the team. And when he came back, he was actually very, very, very committed to the game and very strong. And he just showed like last week that he can be a very, very good to play now in NA. This is a long shot, but if we, I'm pretty sure if we win all of our games, we could go as first seed. And obviously you want to win all of your games. So for now, I'm just going to take it week by week. Uh, like I just want to practice well and just show up on the weekend and just keep our winning streak going. And I, I think 6-0, would be really good for us. We'd be in uh, playoff contention for sure, and this is the first time I'd be in playoffs in uh, LCS as well. The goal is playoffs at least, and then anything better than that is like, is good. Next steps are obviously next week, you know, LCS just repeats over and over. It's the Brinsted repeat way of competing. Uh, I'd say we want to we show like good performance, so it's just by, back at work, especially because 7-5, you know, being 6-6, six, six, you know, you can be, people are 7-4, I think, yeah, something like that. So it's really easy to be on top and it's really easy to be on the bottom. And like, it's a kind, the next two or three weeks are so decisive for us that we just want to make, make it to playoff and then we'll see. Rod, do I look good? Do I look good? I look intense. I can't look like I'm having fun. I gotta look intense to the Optic fans, bro. We're all business out here. No fun. Oh, my God. Look at the what? Who's going to sing it? Who's hosting? Our song? Yeah. Sorry. No, I'm going. He's, he's just stealing it. What the fuck? Yeah, I was talking about it. Sorry, T, just always give you our song, bro. Uh, Actually, no, fuck you. Drop me yeah, on my yeah, neck. Yeah, you got dropped, homie. It's fine. The memory store, man. I mean, coming into playoffs, we were just so confident, man. Like, our, the regular season of season two, we went great. When we beat Rise, I sort of knew. I was like, we're winning this next tournament. That was just a big match. Obviously, Seth got really hyped. That was just a, a big match for our team confidence. And I would say after that, that was when we were like, all right, we're, we're the real deal now. And um, I think we scared a lot of their teams. It's like, wow, optics back. And coming into this, we were just all eyes forward, all excited to play. And um, the vibe was great, dude. Like we felt like we were the best. A lot of people thought we were the best. And um, uh, here we are. She, she let me like a valley oh, yeah. 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 Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Wait, you don't know you don't know that song by fucking 50 Cent? <laughs> 50 Cent, I said 50 Cent. Wait, 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 wait. It's a little Wayne, bro. I'm a moron. Jesus. I was thinking a candy shop. I'll let you lick the lolly. Vision. It's Herman's playoffs. Call of Duty. Round one, phase gaming, let's go. You just fucking hexed us, dude. We're the Hector Rodriguez. Are you ready, Chris? It's tournament time. It's fucking tournament time. Terminate. It's tournament time. Tournament time? Let's oh, get it. What a time to be alive. Let's fucking get it. That's what I hear so heavy. Get that wink? Oh, it looks good. <laughs> okay. Let's fucking go, gentlemen. All right, thanks, guys. How do you feel going against phase? Oh, I'm feeling really good. Really good? Just got first at the league. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that we're all like coming together as a team and I think that, 
these uh, these these people that say that you know there's a honeymoon period with teams. I think that every single team I've been on, we progressively get better from the start to like what where we are now. So I think you know we're ready for this match. Okay. Uh, we've been practicing, you know, assuming assuming they play how they're going to play. I think we're ready for it. Okay. Oh, bro. Let's go, baby. Uh, look at the kid. Oh, I'm disgusting! Wow! <laughs> I am shitting on these bots! This is what it all fucking comes down to, bro. Let's fucking go, baby. Come on. Let's go, Porter. Let's go, Can he find Scump inside of fire? Knew he was there, but Scump, shoulder piece at the right time and picks up two. On this hill, they don't want him to contest. Face, you have to get in the hill if you have to, but they're so spread out right now. Optic getting pushed out. Methods finds a couple of kills. He's on a four spray at the front. Optic looking to close in here. Nobody close from FaZe. They're trying to fight in, but mid map is locked out as Methods is going on a tear. Six in a row from him. And FaZe get bodied on map one. And Methods. I, I guess my first one down. Scuff tries to get out behind the smoke. Maybe before it pops or an off angle and he's gonna get picked up. Replays has got a shot in and replays with another clutch. I didn't know where Krim is. Another 1v2. Krim's turned it into a one versus one. Just trying to get his health back. Oh, and now it. he's gotta try and make the play. It's just getting stuck. It's so close. He gets to the edge and there's a round on the board for Optic. Uh, Krim gets caught with an eight out. Attach it, he finds the second one. Attach gets all three. Attach gets all three, and that should be your map. Unless Octane can pull off the miraculous, a 1v4. There's 20 seconds on the clock, and it's, you, there's no way, there's no way. No, yeah, I mean, FaZe is gonna beat this, and there we go. So FaZe, they take that search and destroy. It's been the story of the series. Optic, hard point, FaZe search and destroy. Who is gonna take that swing game? I'm, I'm the water steps. Watch away, watch away, watch away. Listen, I'm bar steps. I spot water, I spot water. Yeah, hold that zone. It could be in bar, it could be in bar. I ran by. I'm at L1. I'm at L1. Okay, let's let's get a cap here. Let's get a cap here. I'm gonna sound in bar. Keep holding the easy. One's L2. L2. Ah, oh, fuck. L2 and call heading. Uh, yeah, my bad. L2 going train. L2 to train. All right, they, they got that. They got it. They got it. They got it. Rat back. Rat back. There's nobody there. Attach is gonna go in. The score is gonna come through. It's gonna be. Oh no! It gets stopped. It gets stopped, it hasn't got in yet, it hasn't got in yet, now there's a touch, and now there's a return, and Optic's got a chance to make a play, but replays is here, and replays is here! Fuck me! As Attach has got the flag, and this only answers back. Methods gets a kill, now a 1v2 replay stuck in here. He got they know he's on. He got an assist, so he actually get the artillery oh time, but he still now. He gets through, and Methods is on the bomb. Oh my god, he's gonna get to the field. So close. Oh, he's, oh my god, it was a sliver! It was a sliver, and there's the full streaks! And he gets the final kill as well! Krim might have found an opening, he does! He finds it, he finds two, now 1v1! Oh my god, 1v1. Zuma, versus Methods. Methods is quiet. He's got that mountain class on. He's back out or something. 25 seconds down the clock. He spots him at the edge, he gets the information. Zuma gets away, one shot to his foot but can't finish it. He's trying to hold the edge, can't get Let's go! Plays a little sneaky, that artillery, and it's right on methods. methods, and finds up with Krim, he might have found the opening, he's gonna go right behind replays, oh my god, Krim's in such a good spot, Krim's gotta make the play, he can't do it, he can't do it, Super the fight to kill, and now it's all on Octane, it's all on Octane in a 1v3, replays fire supporting shots, but Suma's able to face it, face with the exit, Always the fucking conversations. We should have fucking done this. Wait, Why can't we just do it in the fucking 11? game, no. man? Uh, 
The round, have the round fucking when you wins. ran away from Wood set, I was one from streaks. I they two v one. We should be fucking were, happy right now. Me, if you were helping me, we so uh, going up against Phase, obviously we were, we were super confident. Won the first map hard point like expected. We vetoed horribly. We we lost the vetoes. We played Doc Search and CTF Docs, and looking back on that, that was just unacceptable. Um, no excuse for it. Well, yesterday we knew that we fucked up, essentially. And um, I don't want to to write it off as just, oh, we messed up, whatever. But, like, we knew that we can't dwell on that. Like, we have two more days of call duty to play. Let's fucking get it, Porter. Let's go. That's fat Porter. Let's get it, fat You got, you got a game of it? Yeah. Oh, four six gaming players drop. It's ten more points for Unilead for map number one. Surely. Surely they close this one out. It'd be a miracle if up to gaming was able to break. It comes down to Scump. Scump falls. Unilad will take that number, number one. one. Just to make sure he can watch that. And because of that, Alex has been able to sneak forward. He finds one. Alex with a double kill. Unilad with the advantage in the series. Two to oh. Up to gaming. One map away from finishing in seventh, eighth place here at stage two playoffs. Players are off uh, spawn. It basically comes down now to Methods and Scump to make the play for up to gaming. To keep them in playoffs. The flag goes through Scump with a double. He's traded out. And now all of a sudden, Optic Gaming need a flag in hand now. I don't think they're going to be able to do it in time. They're just so staggered. Krim is going to get a touch on the flag, but it has to be perfect CTF from here on out. You oh, need Lord. to establish that perfect relay. Is Krim going to be able to get out of the base from Unilad? For the time being, no. The flag gets dropped. Somebody is there to try to keep it going, but there's only 10 seconds remaining in the game. You need to get this flag cap, then position somebody else on the other side of the map. There's no one there. It's going to happen. There's no one there for Optic Gaming to go for the relay. Unilad have done it in three maps. They said Optic Gaming. <laughs> We're losing series because we are legitimately throwing them away. We definitely overthink a lot of situations, but I think the reason we lost this weekend is is to put it honestly, the, just a lack of individual performance from all four of us at the same time. Like when one of us had a really good map, someone had a really poor map. And it's just like when everybody's not consistent, it's just so hard to win. And that happens, you know, it's like, you're not gonna have everybody show up at the same exact time every single tournament. In a perfect world, obviously you'd like that, but it uh, just so happened that mo most of the maps, it was like a multiple people thing. It was just like, we didn't have one person doing bad, we'd have two. And teams that play against us just, they don't assume they're gonna lose one in four, but they're like, as soon as FaZe beat us, I took off my headset and the first thing I heard was two, three, five, baby, from across the stage. I'm like, dude, like teams just know that they're not gonna, they're not gonna beat us at hard point or the chances are very, very slim and Unilad did that. So props to them. But it's like, you go into a series thinking you're up 2-0. So you have to prevent a reverse sweep in my mind. And that's how we're losing. And it's just so frustrating to me because it, it, it's just, you lose a map and you go through the scenarios that you lose or like that cost you the map. And every time you just hash it out, hash it out and you come up with a solution. And then a new problem arises in the next SMD when this happens. Or, you know, it's the same thing that happens, but no one listened or, you know, this, that and the other. And after we lost today, I'm just like, dude, why are we doing this? Like, we know how to play Call of Duty. We're overcomplicating it. We're getting in our own heads at this point. Like, there's, like, yesterday, after we lost the phase, I was screaming, guys. I was legitimately outside screaming my brain out. And today, I said nothing because it's like, if we don't know by now and we don't understand the concepts that need to be understood at this point during the game, then we're not going to win. That's just how it is. But I have faith that we can win if we just 
played together in S and D. The thing that frustrates me the most about all of this is that we're the best hardpoint team in this game. We are 21 and six in the last 27 times we've played it. And like, it's just so frustrating knowing that we'll win first map and then we'll lose two and three. And then I just immediately know that we can just skip to game five. Like things like that just infuriate me. It's, it's more annoying that we're good at hard point than bad. Like that's where I'm at right now. You know, we're all way too talented to um, play like that in this big of a tournament. And I think we all know that, like everybody's really upset about it, but what can you do now? I mean, we just gotta prepare for champs and as much as this sucks, it's, it's better to happen here than champs, so. Thank you.